Ancient Greek clothing has a rich history, evolving through distinct periods. It began with the Minoan civilization in Crete and extended into the Mycenaean civilization, the Archaic period and the Classical period. The use of linen and wool was prevalent due to the climate with linen offering breathability in the hot Greek weather. Fabrics were dyed using natural pigments resulting in colors like violet, green and grey. However, colored fabrics were considered a luxury. Greek clothing typically consisted of a tunic, peplos or chiton, and a cloak, hymation. These rectangular garments were adorned with ornamental pins, clasps, belts, and sashes. Men's tunics reached the knees, while the women's robes extended to the ankles. Women also wore undergarments known as strophion and shawls called epiblema. Jewelry, including gold and silver necklaces, earrings, and bracelets, complemented the attire. For men, the clamus, a woolen blanket-sized robe, served as both clothing and a light shield in combat. The intricate details of Greek fashion provide valuable insights into the culture and climate that influenced their clothing choices over the centuries. The Minoan civilization was a Bronze Age culture which was centered on the island of Crete. Known for its monumental architecture and its energetic art, the Minoan civilization developed from the local Neolithic culture around circa 3100 BC with the complex urban settlements beginning around 2000 BC. After circa 1450 BC, they came under the cultural and perhaps political domination of the mainland Mycenaean Greeks forming a hybrid culture which lasted until around 1100 BC. Women were represented with lighter skin. Women are heavily represented amongst the archaeological finds from Knossos, Akro Tree, and other Minoan hubs. One of the most beautiful examples is the snake goddess figurine which depicts the archetype of Minoan dress. Women wore a flounced, layered skirt that fell to the ground. The bodice had short sleeves and a scalloped neckline which reveals and accentuates the breasts. This is mirrored in the colourful frescoes which emphasise bright, eye-catching fabrics dyed a myriad of colours. Bold primary colours, reds, yellows and blues dominate the pattern scheme. Female dress was the use of corsets or tight thick belts to create an hourglass figure. Jewellery Hoop earrings, necklaces and bangles were all popular forms of expression and decoration. Gold and glass beads were used to give outfits that glamorous touch. Men Minoan men preferred to keep clothing to a minimum and are usually shown with a bare torso. They were not shy and enjoyed showing off their upper bodies, which were well muscled from competing in sports such as bull leaping and boxing. Breech clothes, loin clothes and kilts were popular, especially when paired with a decorative cord piece. Garments were multicolored with yellows, blues and whites. Minoan men are also shown wearing hats with long, vibrant feathers protruding from the center and they accessorized with necklaces, bracelets and ornamental bands that encircled their biceps. Mycenaean civilization was an ancient Greek civilization that thrived from approximately the 17th century BCE to the 12th century BCE. It is named after the city of Mycenae, which was one of its prominent centers. The Mycenaeans are known for their impressive palaces, advanced engineering and linear B script, an early form of Greek writing. They were skilled in metallurgy, particularly in crafting bronze weapons and tools. Mycenaean men in ancient Greece typically wore simple and practical clothing. Mycenaean men liked to cover up slightly more than the Minoans. Kilts, tunics and cloaks became fashion staples and are debatably less decorative. The Mycenaeans were known for their military prowess across the Aegean and consequently, battle armour would have been a common feature of the male wardrobe. The helmets consisted of a leather or felt cap which was sometimes embellished with a plume that was reinforced with bow tusks. They typically wore garments made from wool or linen. It's important to note that clothing styles could vary among different individuals based on their social status and occupation. Archaic Greek period started from 800 all the way to 479 BC. Archaeological remains including representation of goddesses, statues, paintings and figurines provide
provide key evidences about importance of clothing. Art and archaic period shows a dramatic transformation in women's clothing. After the late Bronze Age, women's clothing lost its fitted revealing appearance. Now it looks more simpler. Form of the fitted clothing was replaced by a rectangular piece of cloth draped around a figure and held in place, held in place with pins and brooches. This form of clothing had countless variations depending on regional popularity and large scale strength over time. Items of clothing, however, were the peplos, chitin, and hymation that were combined and recombined in a variety of ways. Peplos is the earliest item of archaic Greek women's clothing. The sleeveless peplos was made of a rectangular piece of cloth, usually of a he heavier woolen fabric, which was folded first in half around the torso and beneath the arms. The top was folded down to form an overfall with the body centered between the two sides of the peplos. The garment was then pinned over both shoulders with clasped brooches called fibulae, which had many different forms. Chitin is usually understood as a later modification of peplos. Like the peplos, the chiton, uh, the chiton was fashioned from a single sheet of material folded across the body. The garment could be sewn completely along the top of the arms, leaving only a small hole for the head or neck. Unlike the heavy wool, peplos, it was made of a lighter material such as linen or silk. Hymation, it is best described as a cloak or a mantle and was usually worn on top of a keton or peplos, not instead of them. During the Archaic period, Greek men wore long chitin thereafter except for charioteers, priests and the elderly. They wore a knee-length version. Sleeved chitin were worn by actors and priests. Patterns and colors varied with the time and with the, with the status of the wearer. Greek men in Archaic period also wore hematin just like the women that was draped in different ways, for example, as a shawl, a cloak, or a head covering. In summary, the evolution of clothing in ancient Greece reflects a rich tapestry of influences and cultural transitions. The Minoans demonstrated their skill in textile manufacturing by using light, uh, lightweight textiles such as linen and wool to make intricate vivid clothes. Mycenaean dress was a hybrid of Minoanian and Middle Eastern designs with tunics and decorative adornments while soldiers wore bronze armor. The archaic Greek valued simplicity and efficiency, emphasizing drapery and the use of wool and linen. The Greek War of Independence rekindled interest in the ancient Greek culture resulting in the adoption of traditional clothes. Greece fashions a fashion environment has evolved in the contemporary era, merging Western trends with the traditional special occasion clothes, resulting in a complex and vibrant apparel and fashion business that reflects both its cultural legacy and worldwide influences.